YouTube. If you were to imagine the perfect merger in between tech and personal care, this would be it. This is the Life and Wave Two Press. This video is brought to you by Life and Tech, and we're literally gonna explore why the technology, why the packaging of this electric toothbrush outcompetes some of the main contender brands of the market. We got those for comparison in this video as well. And another great thing about this, not only is it the tech connoisseur's electric toothbrush, but it's not gonna break the bank in comparison to some of the other high-end models that we typically use. So what makes this electric toothbrush different? I'll show you. That 60 degree of oscillation in combination with vibration leads to a three times cleaner finish from this toothbrush. Now they have a proprietary servo system inside of this thing that used to be used only in robotic arms, but now they're bringing it to the world of electric toothbrushes for the first time. <laughs> and let me just say this. Wait, robotic arms? Well, there's nothing to worry about because it's still gentle on the gums. Now, if we take a closer look into the design of the Life and Wave, you'll notice that there is little to no gaps. And this literally results in nowhere for debris or dirt to accumulate and build up. And if you're anyone like me who uses a current market electric toothbrush, you know that in this area, toothpaste, debris, and so forth, can tend to build up in that space. This thing is also IPX7. While you're not supposed to submerge it, you can splash and clean this thing in its entirety without any issue and keep those debris and buildups to a minimum. Now there's also a pressure sensitive button, MagSafe-like charging, and there's nano molding technology, which is typical of what we see in smartphones, which is why this thing is very reminiscent of you know, a said phone, especially in its packaging and its presentation. But that technology is what adds to the durability of this electric toothbrush. Oh, and that's not even a kicker. The toothbrush head replacements for this thing are extremely cost efficient. Literally, you can get a three pack replacement of brush heads for $9.99 or you can get a six pack for $16.99. That's a legit bargain. As someone who spends a lot more than that for their brush heads on my current electric toothbrush, I'm actually impressed, genuinely. And there's also an app that accompanies this toothbrush that you can opt in to use if you choose to. And it's capable of three settings and 10 levels per setting. So there's a ton of area for you to make different adjustments and fine tune this electric toothbrush to fit like, you know, your brushing style and pressure points. And fun fact, this thing even has an airplane mode if you hold the power button, which stops it from having any type of accidental touches or activations. This thing is like a phone that you brush your teeth with. <laughs> but yet and all, it's an electric toothbrush that's very tech focus. And I'm getting all of the tech vibes out of it. So some of you guys may be wondering, okay, CJ, what are some of the drawbacks of the other electric toothbrushes? Some of the ones that you may own in comparison to the Life and Wave. I mean, there's a lack of deep cleaning while protecting your guns, which the Life and Wave is geared towards. There's also only, you know, specific preset modes that don't always address all of your brushing styles. Like I told you, this thing has three different settings, 10 levels, for each setting. So you can really like dial in this toothbrush in comparison to some of the competitors, which just kind of have these standard brushing modes. The other competitors also tend to have like a lower motor power that struggles to overcome resistance within the mouth that this one is supposed to be able to plow right through due to its technology. And like we spoke about earlier, the gap on the other leading toothbrushes tend to allow for buildup and debris in comparison. So basically, Lifen has taken a look at the current you know, design and just made their technical improvements to bring you the Life and Wave which I think they did an ideal you know, choice of improvements, which leads to a pretty fairly ideal experience. Matter of fact, instead of me speaking on the experience, let me show you the experience. Okay, so now before I get into using the Life & Wave for the first time, I wanna just share with you guys how me switching to an electric toothbrush, even before this, 
has dramatically improved my oral health via my hygienist and my dentist recommendation. So I'm all about electric toothbrushes. Now it's time to see if the Life and Wave can uh, add to that experience considering it has that different oscillation. So let's experience it. I'm using my everyday toothpaste that I always use. All right, so something to note, when you first use this, Life and recommends that you have it on mode one. So I'm gonna go into the app and just verify that I'm on mode one. So the app verifies that I'm in mode one and it's the original preset. Now what I'm gonna do is place it in my mouth first before you turn it on. <laughs> That's what you should do with all electric toothbrushes, unless you wanna clean up your uh, mirror and everything. But let's experience it. All right, so let me be honest as I always am, right? Listen, when I first saw that the toothbrush did this motion versus like, you know, most typical uh, electric toothbrushes, they just add the vibration. But the oscillation, I was like, man, I was wondering if it would be too abrasive, too aggressive, or just too overwhelming. And honestly, it wasn't. Actually, it was very, very smooth. And it was cool because as it was in my mouth, you could see it like doing it. You could literally see it moving up and down or doing the oscillation in your mouth. And it was really smooth. It wasn't overly aggressive or abrasive. And that's a plus in my book. And my mouth actually feels nice. Hmm. You always gotta do the tongue test after, you know, and check and see how smooth and clean the teeth feel. And they actually feel really good. So the next thing I wanna do is I just wanna test the vibrational pattern and experience with the Phillips and then the uh, Oral-B as well, just really quick. All right, it's very much a different experience. Uh, the Phillips is more vibrational driven, so it's a little bit more aggressive in the vibration. And that's the full sensation you get with the Sonic Care. And I will say this, that bristle that I used on the Lifen is their soft gum care bristle. And it wasn't, you know, like overly aggressive. It actually was just very smooth. Uh, that Philips um, head, it was like medium. I'm gonna say that was a medium brush. I don't think that's a soft one. And just a strong, just strong vibrational presence. So let me hop into the Oral-B. Oral-B, same toothpaste. Same experience. All right, so right now it's just set to daily clean. All of these devices, I just use them in their, you know, basic base mode. So let's get it. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> Woo. Okay, so when it comes to the Oral-B, obviously it's a different shaped bristle. It's a round. Uh, set up and I think kind of has like this round motion going somewhat of some oscillation, but in a different character number one The toothbrush like the neck of the toothbrush and so forth is a lot Wider so it takes up more real estate in your mouth. I'm more used to You know the Philips Sonicare sizing and then the life in is actually slimmer than both of them so the presence or the real estate taken within your mouth is a lot less. And it's more just about the brush and the bristles getting to your teeth. The Oral-B, uh, yeah, there's a lot of real estate being taken up. Outside of that, the one thing I do like about it is with the round bristle, it's just kind of like the way it feels when you attack a tooth individually just felt really good. But as far as like the... Overall sensation with that one, it, it would take some getting used to. I have to be honest because I'm more used to like the Philips Sonicare style and the life in just fit right in. It actually offered a different experience. Like it was just like toned down, but yet it's just smooth. I can do either a Philips Sonicare or the life in on a daily without any issue. The Oral-B would take more time for me to get used to and to see if I like actually would like that one yeah that concludes that and that was my experience of all three openly and honestly cool experiences though this is this is interesting like i never thought that i would be using uh three different electric toothbrushes and recording my experience but it's actually something that's quite useful to people to help them make a decision 
Let's continue the video. Now there are multiple side to side tests versus competitors that you can see as far as like one showing the oscillation range test in comparison from the life and wave to Phillips and Oral B's of that nature, as well as the vibration frequency test, which I'll be doing showing you guys inside of water, the life and waves oscillation, the 60 degree performance versus the competitors like the Phillips and their performance inside of a glass of water versus the Oral B's performance inside of a glass of water. And you're gonna see how well that 60 degree oscillation and vibration combination really truly performs in a visual sense. There's also a simulated brushing test that you guys will be seeing on the screen right now which simulates the brushing and the cleaning that you can expect from the Life and Wave versus the competitors. I'm also gonna show you guys the gum protection test where I will take tofu and smear chocolate you know, sauce on top of it and showing you how it removes the chocolate sauce but also how it either maintains or doesn't maintain the gum integrity. And you're gonna see all three brands. And then we're gonna have some fun with a creative experiment using flour and broccoli. And this is the one that impressed me the most. Seeing the flour on the broccoli and also seeing how the brush heads interact with the florets of the broccoli individually, just removing the flour, but just the way that it like vibrated and removed the debris in totally different characters, totally different ways, just really led to me putting respect on this here, Life and Wave Extremely. Like that test right there really sold me. It was just me physically seeing it and understanding it. And you guys are gonna see it too. And that made me be like, wow, this thing is actually something legit that I can share and possibly recommend. So another thing is price point. The price point of the Life and Wave is quite competitive. Like this model right here is the most inexpensive. And the most expensive is the stainless steel model. But even at the most expensive model, the price point is a third or a half of the other competitors. And that right there is another huge separator. The fact that you're getting performance, the fact that you're getting leading cutting edge tech, and the fact that you're not paying the price of the other competitors is literally quite impressive. So this is the life and wave. Catch the wave if the wave has caught you and enjoy a tech-focused electric toothbrush. Peace.